2032 to the tire. Oh my god, to the tire? To the tire. You put a twin turbo in here with all yeah. that power already? Oh, this is gonna be the last stock startup, you know, besides the exhaust, y'all. What's going on, gang? I'm back with another banger, man. If y'all been paying attention, man, if y'all been staying tuned, then y'all noticed I said on the 25th, I'm about to drop my car off, right? Today is the 27th. Y'all can get that on there. Today is the 27th. It's just, you know, inconvenient. You know, some, some, some stuff happened. Uh, so that's, you know, why I didn't take it two days ago. I'm supposed to drop my car off, man, at Strictly Performance on the 25th. I had to go through a lot of stuff. So I'm not really going to speak on that situation now because I am working on that video, y'all. So please bear with me. Please stay tuned, y'all. Please, you know, keep that notification bell on, man, because you can miss one video you know and really miss a lot so just please you know try to you know stay aware you know try to stay alert for me because like i said your boy went through something uh and that's why you know i didn't get to drop my car off you know on the 25th and you know i actually missed the car meet you know like i said i'm not gonna talk too much about that situation i'm actually you know in the process of working on that video now and you know i talked to my lawyer and everything so I just wanted, you know, to wait to show him the videos, you know, just to see, you know, if it's a good time, you know, to upload these videos or not. So, you know, right now, today, what's going on, like I said, I'm dropping my car off at Strictly Performance. So, I'm about to hop on the highway now after I get gas. And I only really got this GoPro. This is a new camera. I had to get a new camera. That's why this angle is new. If y'all wondering, you know, why I never use this angle, because this is a new camera and I just put it up right there, you know, on my right side, just so, you know, it's a perfect angle. Right now we finna get gas, man, and then we finna, you know, hit the highway. So I'ma see y'all when we get the strictly performance, man. Man, well, you missing out on a lot if you was not subscribed, man. And if you knew, hit that notification bell. But y'all see, we had to just get a quick $20 little, little fill up. Not a full fill up, you know. Like I said, I don't got any other my cameras with me right now. So, you know, right now, really all I got is this GoPro. But she looking good today, man. She looking real clean. The exhaust look good. And like I said, this is the last time my car gonna be stocked, y'all. This is the last time she gonna be stocked. And look, y'all almost left the gas tank open. I got so much going on, so much in my mind, y'all. But let me give y'all this last little startup, man. Oh my goodness, y'all. So the exhaust sounded good. Y'all know this wine fit open up way louder after this, so stay tuned, man. Y'all know we're not slowing down, man. Thank God I got somebody trailing me, because these trucks is really crazy. Like, I am in the left lane, going about 78, damn near 80, just so, you know, I got my own space, bruh. It's literally trucks riding my ass, getting around me just to get off the exit, like, right here, y'all. Flying. It's the truck that's flying right next to me right here. Literally just speeding for what, bruh? I just don't understand this world, y'all. Like, somebody please let me understand. Like, help me understand. Make me understand that it's okay for a truck to run a sports car off the road, bruh. Like, for what? Like, what is your reason? Just literally trucks flying around me, bruh. This is a supercharged car. I can literally go around y'all and speed around y'all, like, easily, bruh. I don't do it. The trucks come being big and bad.
definitely got a drag pack, bro, because this car got some power, bro. You see it's still stock and we all over the road, bro. And I feel like if I was to go to the track or, you know, the strip, the drag strip, I feel like I would still be slipping all over the place, bro. So we definitely going to find a drag pack. I really want the Red Star one. I want the drag pack that look like my, uh, my old Z28 rims. If y'all know which ones I'm talking about, I'm going to try to drop a picture, but let me know what y'all think of them if I drop a picture. Because I really was about to grab them from my SS. Because y'all know I had, you know, some decent power in the SS and I needed, you know, some, a drag pack. But let me give it one more hard pull real quick, y'all. Come pick her up. Y'all gonna see something different right here. With spark wires, all that. So There's a lot of stuff that y'all gonna see different in here. But yeah, y'all see we in here, man. This nice car, this is a Camaro right here. Vet right here. There's another Camaro in there, but yeah, so y'all see where we at, man. We in here looking at her, so like I said, we 100% stock. Besides the exhaust, the car is 100% stock, so never been tuned, nothing yet, so. Y'all gonna see the difference when we pick it. I'm gonna show other people cars, but look at the wheels on here, man. Oh, you got a magnet sitting here. I'm waiting to doing anything. You see the big gulp series. Yeah, so I just gotta do my release form just to drop it off. Yeah, I know I'm a Chevy guy, so this just excite me. <laughs> Inch LT engine okay. that we built. Uh, with the Magnuson 2650. Right, yeah, that's what I've seen. Um, it's completely direct injection still, uh -huh. and it's like 860 to the wheels. Dang, 860? So yeah, that's why the tire's looking like this. <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> it's actually back here for the winter mm -hmm. uh, to get port injection put on it. Oh, okay. And it'll be 11 to 1200 to the tire. <laughs> oh, to the tire, oh my yeah. God. So uh, this should be pretty fun. We had it out at the drag strip with the customer. Uh -huh. Couple week, couple weeks ago, uh -huh. and it did a eight ninety at one hundred and forty. God, yeah, nine, I, sorry, nine ninety to one hundred and forty. So uh, he's going to be shooting for eights after mm -hmm. after after, projection next oh year. Oh my God, those are some crazy numbers. You know, yeah, yeah. So this will be a fun one. Yeah, I definitely got you know a lot planned. I'm just scared. I don't want to mess with my fuel system yet. So you know that's why I'm trying to stay light. Yeah, but. and what I tell everybody too is it's. So much better to walk your way up in exactly. mods because if you just throw all the horsepower exactly. at it, dude, five for you with an 88 mil turbo on it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so he's gonna be playing with this Headers. a little bit more this winter. Right now it's like 770 at the tire on like 17 pounds. So he's gonna turn it up to like 25, 26 pounds oh my here in a goodness. little bit. <laughs> um, it'll, it'll be like 900 wheel when he oh turns the boost up. God. So well, people won't even expect, you know, somebody to pull up like this ready well, with that much power. The sleeper he's got a shit box badge on it. Yeah. <laughs> got a shit box badge. <laughs> 
it's it's pretty funny. A Range Rover that's got an LS3 in it? For real? Yeah. Um, Steven's the fire hero, right? Oh yeah. Uh, so it has an LS3 in it, and then we're oh. putting an LSA blower oh off a CTSV on. Oh my god! Yeah. From the CTSV? Yeah. Yep. That is crazy. Yeah, that's fun. And then this car is getting a similar build to the one up in the showroom. Okay. So he's got a Magnuson supercharger and stuff oh, over really? there. Okay. We built a 416 engine for this one. That is um, crazy. And this is 2021, so it's got the, the newer, newer face. Yeah. So what, was this an LT1? Yep. Okay. Yep, they do a 416 sports internals. I mean, this is so light, too. Like, the yeah, car. it's a stick shift car. You said a Magnuson put in there? Yeah, oh my so this goodness. will be like mid 800s to the tire. <laughs> yeah, people are trying to get some power here. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, people see horsepower numbers on the internet and then, then mm -hmm. they jump in something with that much power. Yeah, know right. Do. Yeah, <laughs> so. so that's exactly why I'm not, I'm just trying to go slow, man. Oh, yeah, no, that's the uh, smart way to do uh -huh. it. Yeah. This is the crazy Hummer we built. We're in here to. Uh, Doing a little engine update. He uh -huh. lifted a head, so we're converting it to half inch head studs. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah, and it's got a, it also has a big Magnus in 2650. Mm -hmm. It's like <laughs> a thousand horsepower Hummer. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> y'all hear the thousand horsepower Hummer. This is probably the first Hummer y'all ever heard of being this fast, bro. Cause this is the first time I heard of a Hummer being that fast <laughs> ever. <laughs> so it, that's pretty crazy. Uh -huh. We got a CTSV in from New York for a mm -hmm. 416 engine. So what, like people like ship their cars here or stuff? Yep, so that's from New York. The SS right over there is from uh, Pennsylvania. Mm. Um, yeah, got... I, I noticed that Camaro had an Ohio plate on it too. Yep, yep, he's from Ohio. We've got a truck that's getting dropped off in uh -huh. a couple weeks from Montana. Uh -huh. Right, so what people just usually find a page like on YouTube or Instagram and stuff? Yeah, they see a lot of our YouTube uh -huh. videos. Yeah, because that's what I did too. Like before I got it, I'm like, I want to watch some YouTube videos. And I'm I was with my brother and I'm like, do I can't cheat myself, I gotta just bring my car here because like just the way y'all do it, you know, like y'all take y'all time and everything. We did, um, we're, mm -hmm. we're real meticulous on how we route stuff uh -huh. in the engine bay, right. keep everything really clean. And, yeah. Yeah, we're trying to do a good job with that. Yeah. I love them tires on that one LE. Like yeah. them rims, the ZR1 yeah. rims. He's like, selling those wheels for this guy. He is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This, so this guy's lowering it. He's gonna get some stickier tires. I'll get to that car in a second. This is just a uh, just an SS that we threw a we did a cam package on. Uh huh. We threw a LSA oh, cam package. You said an LSA supercharger? Yep. The same one as that uh, Range Rover over there. Oh. And it makes like six nineties to the tire. Oh my goodness. So what to the crank? That's like it's like about a little over eight hundred. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> And you wouldn't even think, like, like you said, it's just the SS. You got a whole LSA supercharger in there. Yeah. So this, uh, it's back now because it's gonna. We're getting some lowering springs on it. Mm -hmm. He bought those wheels. And yeah, and I love those those wheels. Yeah, I'm sad. I wish I was here in time because I wanted those same wheels. Yeah. Right. ZR1 wheels. Right. So, uh, you know, this car's pretty cool. This one had a F F1A94 Pro Charger on uh -huh. it. Did 1,032 to the tire. Oh my God, to the tire? To the tire. And uh, oh that, my goodness. that wasn't enough for this guy, so <laughs> we're throwing twin turbos on it now. Oh my God, she put a twin turbo in here with all yep. that power already? Yep. So, oh uh, my goodness. We're gonna toss it back in there uh, with the current engine setup, which is the 416 we built. Uh -huh. So it's gonna be like, 1100 to the tire and then this winter we're doing a 427 uh -huh. lsx block setup and he wants to shoot for like 1300. oh my god you nobody <laughs> want to mess with him like no. No, <laughs> he's yes. not the one to play with <laughs> he's he's after after some people for uh racing so crazy yeah. i love these rims y'all let me know what y'all think about these rims if i should buy these same rims because i've been and thinking actually, about you know it i was wrong that guy bought the wheels off the one up front I can check with him. He might be trying to get rid of these. Yeah, I dev, I really like them. I don't so, know, because uh, I was looking at them. I think it was an orange Camaro y'all had in here, and it had the same. Silver ones. Yep, 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 silver ones, yep. yep. And I seen them, I'm like, I really like them rims on the, the ZL1. I really like them. Even these are if a they were black. Right now. 
Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah, they clean up nice and look really good clean. Yeah, I really so, like them. He is this winter looking at changing his wheel and tire setup up. So if, that could if that's be perfect. Case, yeah, I'll get him in touch with you. Yep. And I say he could find me on Instagram or my YouTube page because I do YouTube and my name is on my car, so he might perfect. see it. Yeah. No, I'll get him that info. That's what's up, though. No, that'll be fun once we get those. We're just uh, waiting uh, to have the turbos built. Mm -hmm. uh, cop turbos doing them. That is crazy. This is an F1A 94 Pro Charge car on mm -hmm. a stock engine, and it was making. Stock engine? Yeah. Let me see here. It's like 760. Oh my goodness. The tire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, so these uh, people making some power in here. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's about as far as we want to push this one on the uh -huh. stock engine. Right. So uh, we've got the supercharger turned down as far as we can. Mm -hmm. So after he gets an engine built, we'll turn it up and it'll be like that. Like we'll that, that right. So what, he, he got a, a pro charger in here? Yep. Okay. Yep, so we have a giant upper pulley on it so that we can keep boost down. <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah. I love how it's looking here too, like the whole uh, like dino room. Yeah, no, we, uh, we close it all up. We got a giant intake fan up top. That, oh, for real? Yep, shoves air in, those pull air out. This room moves like 41,000 uh, cubic feet a minute uh -huh. of air. Man, I'm so shocked. <laughs> yeah, keeps all the exhaust out of here. So you can shut right. all the doors. Mm -hmm. We don't have to be too loud and piss off all the people right. about this place. Right. Uh, we got a break room in here, mm -hmm. and this is. If, uh, um, when people are around for their dyno, like mm -hmm. they can sit in here and videotape their yeah, car. On see, the that's dyno. what's up, man. That's nice. I'm definitely gonna be coming back here in the winter. That's why I'm glad I brought it here now because it's starting to get cold. And it's like right now, I'm just trying to save up and everything, too. Yeah. So I'm really not even worried about driving my car. I feel like it's the perfect time you know, to build it. For sure. Yeah, and then you still get to enjoy it a little mm -hmm. bit before it gets right. cold. Right, exactly. So, y'all, I just got the key off the little wallet. So. I'm about to get up out of here. I just showed y'all everything, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that shop, man. I really like it. I'm really, you know, impressed with all the power these cars made here. And I really like this shop. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think I'm about to do to this beast, man. But I'm finna drop her off, so I'm finna get rid of her, man. I'm gonna give him the key, and I'm gonna get up out of here and let them work on my baby. Because I'm sending a TCM out today, so they getting on it fast, and they starting on it today. I don't know who I should give this oh. to. Sure. Um, let me see y'all finish up. Yeah, he gave me the paperwork and everything. Oh, I just cool. couldn't find him. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I'll <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you probably when I pick it up. Sounds good, man. All right. Got my cameras back. Uh, this the one I was YouTubing off of today when I just took my car to Strictly. If it's a little confusing, just try to bear with me. You know, try to just understand and pay attention because I have a video that I'm working on now you know I was working on before I went to drop my car off at strictly it's just I can't drop it yet I just don't feel comfortable with dropping it first so the videos might be you know a little out of order some videos might get dropped before you know one was recorded but just stay tuned just bear with me like I said it might look a little confusing but I'm gonna get it you know once I upload it you know cuz I'll try to you know explain it throughout the video too you know that way y'all not confused but i got my cameras back so i just got back from dropping my car off at strictly and i think i probably said everything i needed to in that video so really i'm just giving y'all update you know what's going on with my cameras so i got my cameras back i got my youtube my main vlogging camera back so that's a good you know that's some good news because i really just needed this camera because the GoPro just not as good, you know, and the quality just not as good to me. I'm just used to this camera more. It's just better, you know, for vlogging. So I'm going to put my new GoPro in my car. That way I got two Go GoPros in my car. So it's never a problem with, you know, one getting dead or one acting weird. So thank God I got another one. But I'll probably wrap this video up right here. If you got any questions, you know, any concerns about Strictly Performance, just leave a comment or, you know, Message me on Instagram. Just let me know. Y'all know my Instagram name is the same name as my, you know, YouTube username. So go follow me if you're not already. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about it, man. But I'm going to see you on the next one. I'm out.